Arguably Sweden's most famous dish, Swedish meatballs, technically not even from Sweden, but popularized by IKEA. It's a classic beef and pork meatball smothered in a creamy, rich beef brown sauce. Let's turn up the heat. The first step is to make the meatballs. One part ground beef to a half part pork. Throw a couple other classic ingredients in there and you got yourself a pretty tasty meatball. Let me show you what I'm working with. One pound of ground beef, one pound of pork, half cup panko breadcrumbs, one egg, five tablespoons of milk, and one onion. Diced up small. Take these and add them to the mixture. Mix this up, get right in there with your hands. Don't be shy. Once you start mixing, add a pinch of salt, about two teaspoons. Now take your big meatball and divide it. 19 perfect one and a half to two ounce meatballs. And in a hot pan with a bit of oil, toss them straight in. After about five to seven minutes on one side, they're ready to roll. Take one, check the bottom, nice and brown. Go ahead and turn them. Now that I've rolled the meatballs and they're starting to sear on the other side, get an oven to 400 degrees, cover the pan, and toss them in for 30 minutes. Once the pan's covered, it's ready to go in. Sure, the meatballs are just meatballs, but the sauce is what makes this dish special. This rich, creamy, beef-flavored sauce packs a punch, and it's what makes people keep coming back. In a separate pan, start with three tablespoons of butter. Add five tablespoons of flour, this is your roux. This is gonna act as the thickener to thicken the sauce. Right now, you just wanna cook this over low heat, making sure it doesn't burn. You basically just wanna cook this until that flour starchy smell goes away. Add two cups of beef stock. Slowly whisk in the roux to combine. Next, add one teaspoon of Dijon mustard and two teaspoons of soy sauce. Add some fresh cracked pepper, about a half teaspoon, and about a half teaspoon of salt. You added soy sauce, which is already salty, so add a little bit of salt at a time. Try it, and if you need more, add more. Go ahead in with two-thirds cups of cream. Once it's reduced, it turns into a nice, thick, slightly brown, rich sauce. Keep this hot, and once those meatballs are ready to come out, we're gonna transfer them straight into this sauce. Hot, right out of the oven, here are the meatballs. Nice and golden. There's a little bit of grease and some moisture in this bottom of the pan that I don't really want in this sauce. So I'm just gonna take these with a slotted spoon. Make sure I don't get any of that excess liquid into my sauce. Velvety, creamy, beefy. Look at this, amazing. Just coat all the meatballs in that luscious sauce. Get it all over them. Now that these guys are ready, I say we dig right in and give it a taste. And after all that, here they are, the Swedish meatballs. Let's dig in. Roll these meatballs around, get them coated again. I'm going one bite, one meatball, just how it's meant to be eaten. I think this one looks pretty good. Get a decent amount of sauce. Here we go. Hot, very tender meatballs. The sauce is so creamy, rich, smooth. It just, it gets in your mouth and just coats your entire mouth. It's such a nice feeling and it tastes amazing. The meatballs are really tender and soft, but they still have that slight firmness that you want out of a good meatball. I'm gonna go in for one more. That's it right there, nailed it. I think Ikea might be calling me soon. Give it a try and come back and let me know how you like it. Give this a big fat thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, and until next time, peace.